Hi, welcome to chapter 2, Globe, Latitude and Longitudes. In this chapter, we will read about globes on which countries, continents and oceans are shown in the correct size. As we know, it's difficult to describe the location of a point on Earth. So the question is, how do we do it? Hence, page 1 talks about how we need certain points of reference and imaginary lines to find out the location of places. So if you see the globe, it has some imaginary lines and they are the equator. It's a horizontal line passing through the center of the globe which divides the globe in northern and southern hemisphere. A vertical line, prime meridian, that is fixed from north pole to south pole which is crucial in deciding various time zones. In page 2, we talk more in depth about the imaginary line we spoke in last page. The equator represents the zero degree latitude. So anything above is called north latitude and anything below is called south latitude. The distance from the equator to north or south pole is one fourth of a circle around the earth. Take a protractor. Consider its zero line as the equator and the straight line that touches the 90 degree angle are the poles. There are some important parallel latitude you have to remember. As we have read, equator is zero degree. North pole is represented as 90 degree north and south pole as 90 degree south. Tropic of Cancer is 23.5 degree north. Tropic of Capricorn is 23.5 degree south. Arctic Circle is 66.5 degree north. Antarctic Circle is 66.5 degree south. In page 3, we learn about heat zones of Earth. They are broadly of three types. Torrid Zone, Temperate Zone and Frigid Zone. Torrid Zone is the region around equator. The sun rays hit the Earth directly. Due to Earth's shape, most of the heat is absorbed at the center, making it a torrid zone, and this is why sun is exactly overhead during afternoon. The areas bounded by the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere have moderate temperatures. The midday sun never shines overhead on any latitude beyond the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn. These are therefore called temperate zones. Areas above the Arctic Circle and areas below the Antarctic Circle are very cold. Sun does not rise much above the horizon and provide less heat. The angle of sun rays goes on decreasing towards the poles. Hence, this area is called frigid zone. Now we'll club all the remaining pages together. Page 4, 5 and 6. In these pages, we talk about longitudes. Longitudes are crucial in finding a country's standard time. Longitudes, along with latitude, help us in locating any place on Earth. Longitude is line of reference running from the North Pole to the South Pole. Since equator is the zero latitude, to figure out what would be the zero longitude, long back, all countries decided that the count should begin from the meridian which passes through Greenwich, London. Now this place is the zero degree for longitude. Now from here, 180 degree east and 180 degree west will determine the time zones. As the earth rotates from west to east, those places east of Greenwich will be ahead of Greenwich time and those to the west will be behind it. That's why India is 5.30 hours ahead of Britain. That's why UK working shift in India is from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m so that their logout time would be 5.30 p.m. Now try to understand this small calculation. It takes 24 hours for Earth to make one rotation. So 360 divided by 24 is equal to 15 degrees. In one hour, Earth moves 15 degrees. Therefore in one minute, 15 divided by 60 is equal to 4 degrees. So Earth moves 4 degrees every minute. Remember this.